the last four to eight weeks of satsang on every Saturday in the ashram. The last Saturdays of the month goes to the school kids, high school students. And I found their question was one, how? And that is where the trouble starts. They have been taught to ask how. And the main question came because I am a Swamiji, I am a Babaji, I am a Guru, Guruji, etc. So the question should go according to that. So they all wrote slips and I checked the slips. I found how to meditate. Wonderful, they heard what is Swamiji's knows, Guruji's knows, Babaji's knows how to teach, especially if it is Indian Guru. They must be very close to God, very close to understand what is meditation. So they asked, how to meditate? First of all, the question itself is wrong. But the question is totally right because that is what has been taught in all the schools, universities, teaching the children how to study. From there, the child understood, oh, what to study and how to write the examination. And the child understands this Trimurti, heaven and the earth, man in the center, finished. They have destroyed the child and the child continues how to make love, how to make babies, how to get married. And all these three are very closely related when you enter the another great ocean of your world. When you get a job in the factory, how do I get a job? What kind of job? And then how to pass the interview, the pass the examination. All three murtis are there. The moment these three are there, then the whole world of the political arena and the materialistic religious order which claims to be the, ours is the biggest religion in the world in numbers. And another group from Middle East say, no, we are the second largest. They have the gold medal, silver medal, bronze medal, can you believe? Creating the maximum amount of liars, maximum amount of crooks and slaves makes them the biggest gold medalist, silver medalist. And from there they understood how to rob, what to rob. As long as this how, what, and you are on the examination point of hitting the target, you will never know what is meditation. Meditation is, is not something how you, how to do meditation. You never look at your mother and say, how do I look at my mother? The child comes back from the school or with all the materialistic things till the heart breaks him up. He sees the dad sitting in the front and the only one question is, go, Dad, where is mom? And dad says, she's inside. Then the, the boy goes or the girl goes inside and talks to me. Mom, mom, uh, she teacher said this. Teacher said that that happened, this happened. And one bite, one coffee. He never knew that he should not express. He knew whom to express the person who can love. Who understands you, who could look right into the eye who could kiss you without any preconditions, how to kiss you, how to feed you. It doesn't come from the parent's side. It is just, it happens of its own. The child happens of its own. That is real meditation. You do not have to have anything. Somebody asked me, 
What is meditation? Let us not go into that. When you're eating, when you're enjoying your eat, it's meditation. I've always noticed so many people walking in front of the tree, walking in front of several trees of beautiful flowers and every plant and tree are talking to you and you never bothered and you go around all the ashrams to all the Zen monasteries to learn the sound of the one hand clapping the cone the master says go solve this cone what is the cone listen to the sound of the one hand clapping and you are walking in front of the trees and you couldn't hear the trees are talking to you. They wanted you to just look at them, to smell them, to touch them, to hug them and go. They are not asking for more. Even if you don't touch also, they still stand in the hot sun. In all the weather conditions, whether you spit on them, they still bloom beautiful flowers and beautiful leaves and if you can understand that kind of a patience and powerful karma yogi which stands in the center of a road wherever you're walking just talk to them and hug them that is the first sign of meditation which is called love then all doors in the world open you do not have to go to take any certificates to understand how to meditate all those people who are teaching you how to meditate are cheaters there's nothing to learn you have to sit next to your father and mother bum to bum and if it spills out anything from your mouth whether they take it as gospel of truth or whatever spills out from them or you take gospel of truth if you understand that song of the nightingale of your first family it connects you to join family stands tall the family tree they said the tree the plant the family tree and you refuse to talk to the sunlight you refuse to talk to the wind embrace the wind you refuse to dance but you go to dance rain, rain dance but the original rain comes you are frightened to dance because you might fall sick and you know to dance and sing that is meditation and if you can meditate no disease ever attacks you if it attacks you it is only it is coming to test you and he knows that you are strong to allow that sickness for some time in your body and you come out very powerfully this is not a definition of meditation or just my experience.